there is one photoshop trick nobody talks about and it can fix anything double chin body shape messy background you just name it and the craziest part it works on every version of photoshop without any further ado let's get started so i have this photo of a woman and as you can see she has a double chin you might say just fix it with liquify but let me show you why that won't be a perfect solution I'm using the face tool to fix the double chin and as you can see it doesn't work. Even if I make a face thinner the double chin is still there. Ok let me show you another option the freeze mask tool. First I'm gonna freeze the parts I don't want to affect. Then use the forward warp tool to push the double chin in. But as you can see it get messy and looks fake. So how do we fix it? There is a very simple photoshop technique that works beautifully. First I'm gonna use the paint tool to make a selection just above the double chin like this. Make sure you are covering the extra jawline too. Take your time and make a clean selection. Then hold ctrl and click enter to turn it into a selection. Next select any selection tool and right click on the canvas. Choose feather and set it to 5 pixels. Just remember, more feather radius means softer edges. For this photo, 5 is perfect. Now press Ctrl and Z twice to make a 2 copies of the selection. Right click the top layer and choose create clipping mask. After that, press Ctrl and T to transform the selected area. Right click and choose warp. Now simply drag the double chin upward so it hides right under the jaw. You can also clean up the jawline and reduce the width. And it already looks amazing. Now you can use liquify to refine the face shape even more. Press Ctrl, Alt, Shift and E to merge all the visible layers into a new one. Then right click and convert it to a smart object. Go to liquify and adjust the shape however you want. And that's done. Now if you want to reduce a big forehead, the process is the same with just a few changes. Use the lasso tool to make your selection. But this time, increase the feather radius so it doesn't look fake. I'm going to set it to 20 and click OK. Then make a 2 copies of the selection. Transform it, choose warp and reshape the forehead like this. After that, use the pass tool to clean up any imperfections and you are done. Here is another photo where I want to fix the eye bags. Same technique, just increase the feather radius even more so it blends perfectly with the skin. And that's it. I hope you learned something new today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.